This man is an absolute legend. Got me crutches and got me drugs. <laughs> I love <laughs> <laughs> So, it's now a day after I've flown home. This is just on my phone, if we're going to put it into the vlog. Uh, I've had some doctors come in, surgeons come in. Uh, I've done some x-rays. They're worried about the fracture going down as well as across. But it's obviously penetrated through the leg as well. So, I'm now going for an ultrasound and a CT scan. And then they're going to repot it and they might even do the surgery tonight, but if they don't do the surgery tonight, they're gonna nail it and screw it tomorrow. That's the plan. But I can tell you now, the ticking the pot off was not fun, but I've got this little yoke. If I sound a little bit off my head, that's why. Best thing ever. Okay, so it's now the day after what I just spoke about there of getting the operation and plans have changed completely because they were initially going to put a rod in and now that's not happening uh, for like two or three reasons. One being the job that I do and the implications with the knee and different things like that. So the surgeons all come around yesterday and then we've gone a different route now to get an external fix here. It couldn't get done last night and they were worried about the penetration of the skin and uh, stuff like that. So. They've put a temporary fix here, which Christy can show you now in a minute, but um, that's going to stay on now for a few days until we get the permanent one um, fixed on. And I think the only good thing about our sport is that you're surrounded by people that have quite a lot of knowledge of getting hurt and um, nobody more so than Ian Hutchison. So a big thanks to him yesterday. He was on the phone, helped out loads and spoke to surgeons and everything for me so yeah I really appreciate that I'm obviously massively upset right now and so you know, but Jesse you fell off the bed <laughs> <laughs> it's good. oh my days um yeah I'm obviously really upset and peed off right now but here we go again just to the process of trying to get fixed He's definitely going to grab that, isn't he? What do you think of my Lego, Jesse? Nice. <laughs> and he, yeah, so then once we know more, I'll shout back what happens. And I'm in uh, Huddersfield Hospital now. My roommate's called Desmond, and he's an absolute legend. Nicest little old man you've ever seen in your whole life. So, yeah, life's not all bad. <laughs> Right, so got out of hospital um, last night, got home for the night, probably a little bit of a mistake, I'm still quite sore, but they were happy to let me out. Now I'm on route to Sheffield, it's now the next day, um, got an appointment at Sheffield Northern Hospital, Northern, Great Northern Hospital, I think it's called, to, because that's where the cage is going to get fed, so I'm currently, Neil's coming. Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. This time we are going to be going through 
the situation or the current situation of what's happened me what the plan is now what we're going to get done and stuff so currently right now i'm sat at home been home for nearly a week or yeah just about a week so last week we went to get a checkup to see about getting the cage fitted to my leg still got the temporary fixator on my leg which you'll have seen from last week's vlog but i am um, sat right now waiting for Whitham's going to come james Whitham's going to come and bring me to the hospital because the appointment's at like three christy has to go and get a little man from school so she can't take me but yeah we're going to go there and hopefully fingers crossed they're going to say yes we can fit the cage and then it's going to get fitted tomorrow and then we can actually start the getting better process because we can't really do anything right now with this temporary fixator on i can't even leave the house or anything obviously because it's quite a high risk of infection so i've literally been laid on the sofa for a week watching crap on netflix and youtube and stuff like that so if you've got any suggestions chuck them in comments below i'll always take take any suggestions for any good programs but yeah that's what's going to happen today we're going to go to sheffield's i don't know what the name of the hospital is get there get the checkups done make sure the leg's ready to go it was a cut that was the problem you're not allowed to put cage on apparently if there's any broken skin so that was the reason and um hopefully that's fixed or healed now and we can get cracked on and get it done and yeah i've got loads of things lined up different obviously with the oxygen and laser and electronic machines and all sorts of stuff to try and heal make it heal faster because obviously we're the deadline's a lot closer this time than it was the last injury so yeah we're really pushing now to get back in time for i don't think we're going to get back in time for the start of the british championship for the northwest and the tt is that it um yeah what else uh, told them that you're taking them along for the journey and stuff. Yeah, so, um, um, I have to cut them out because Christy has to keep beeping them. Yeah, I'm gonna, the plan is obviously to take you guys along with me this time a lot, a lot more, a lot more detail. Because honestly, the last time I was not in a good place, whereas now it's literally the case of I'm fine mentally and stuff. Obviously, the first few days were really hard because I've put a lot of work to get myself into that situation to be fit again, and then this has happened. So it, it was honestly hard pill to swallow, but I'm over the other side of that now, and all I'm concentrating on is getting fit and ready to ride my bike again so i'm going to show you guys exactly what that entails and how we get there and when we get there we can maybe enjoy the, the results together so stay tuned we did some secret filming in here tell me when you're filming so i'm uh, talking about secret filming <laughs> tell them huh. could be a prison actually so we're going to go now to get like it's like a pre-op checkup like i said before Basically to check the cut on the leg and to check some of the pin holes and stuff like that there to see if they're allowed to operate. I'm, I'm more nervous about this than I am the operation to be honest. I'm not really bothered about the operation, I just really want it to happen. I don't know if I'll be allowed the camera in or whatever, I might even just switch it on. Let you listen to what they're explaining or describing or what's going to happen or stuff like that. But yeah, I'll try my best. And uh, thanks James. Pulled me out, he's pulled me out of the shit twice now because he picked me up from the airport to start hey, off with. We're on the meet to do it. It's going to be an expensive one. We might need to uh, do a giveaway or something to donate a pound to pay James, <laughs> to pay James <laughs> in the vlog. So we need to go up to the left. Big gaff, eh? Yeah, it's massive. I'm currently in. I don't know if it's like a little doctor's ward or whatever, but the woman said, because I've been in a different hospital, I have to come and get some tests done. I don't know what that means. It could probably just be like blood tests and things like that. So my surgeon woman, I think is called Mrs. Miss or Mrs. Pincher. So she's just gone to tell her that I'm here. Hopefully we're going to have some good news soon. Until she says to me, yes, she can get it done. I'm like, I've got that shitty butterfly feeling in my, in my stomach. So... That's the current situation. Jim's going to park the car, he dropped me off right at the door. <laughs> so God knows where he is. I've been like down three different little alleyways and into this room. So I'll probably hear him before I can see him. So some woman's just come in and said that, I don't know how to say that word, but CPE. And uh, she's given me these tubes and she's politely said that I have to shit in the tube and then bring that into my doctor. I'm no rocket scientist, but I'm telling you, you're going to do well to fit it into that tube. Right, the nurse has just been in and took the bandage off, so this is like what the the problem was, but it's all dried up and healed now, so I know it looks a bit of a mess, but that's just like iodine and dry blood and stuff, so sorry if that's made you look a bit sick, so the nurse has just gone to get something now and then hopefully the doctor will be in or the surgeon, whatever you call them, and 
we can get some good news. Right, so the surgeon's just been in. Um, obviously, I couldn't have the camera on, or he didn't want the camera on. A uh, different guy than the last time, and he's now said that it can't get done until Tuesday. Right. So that's another five days. Oh, Sorry, the boss is back. Um, yeah, so I have to wait to next Tuesday now for it to happen. He didn't say why, it wasn't a medical reason, it was just, I think, because they're stacked out here. So, I'm a little bit pissed off, to be honest, but that's safe. Right, we are back in Sheffield Hospital. I don't know the name of the hospital, it's like Great Northern or something like that, but it's a couple of days since I got the information that I wasn't going to get the operation on the Friday. It's now the following Tuesday, so I've had another four or five, four days at home. I've been brought back in at like seven this morning. I had to get here for seven this morning for some like pre-op checks and stuff like that. It's now quarter past, twenty past eleven. Oh, current situation, so swelling's so gone down quite a lot and stuff. Yeah, I'm just sat, sat now waiting. They said I was getting brought in earlier than that. I was going to be like the third patient, but. That was supposed to be at 11 anyway, and now it's like 20 past, so. Don't know what's going on, I'm starving, I haven't had anything to eat since last night, obviously, so hopefully we get in pretty early, but the next time I see you guys, I'm going to have this off, and the cage is going to be fed, and then I'm going to start the recovery process, so. Yeah, I don't know how quick I'm going to get my camera back, so if I'm still off my head when I'm talking to you next time, that might be entertaining, if nothing else, but I probably won't get back up into the ward till I'm at least sort of half normal, if that's such a thing. But well, yeah, hopefully we get down soon. Mm. Right, so take this off a bit. Oh shit, I'm burst the strap. Um I just come out. Literally just wheel me in my new room. Not gonna lie, I still feel a bit off my head. That is what is job done I think. Yeah. I can't see, they've got a cover over. Job done. Um, yeah, I'll come back in a little minute once I'm less spaced out. See what happens. Let you know what's going on. But yeah, they just whack me into my ward. I think I've got like a leg pump on the other leg just to, for the blood. Anybody that's been in knows what this is. Oh, where's it going? It's the morphine button. Right, we're in business. Feeling a bit more awake now, it's like an hour later. Um, yeah, so the operation, I didn't end up going to the operation to three o'clock, so if you've seen earlier, I was, I've been in here since seven this morning, but there was like a trauma or something, I think. So I had to wait from seven this morning to like half two to go and get prepped. Yeah, so feeling good. Um, I've got no pain at the minute at all really because they give me a ring blocker and I'm flat out on the old morphine button. So try and make the most of it whenever it's at hand. Um, so yeah, I'll stay in tonight and then the plan is to get me up and try and walk on it tomorrow. So I'll, uh, yeah, I'll probably try and get a bit of that on camera actually. I don't know, it'll be the physio doing it and stuff, so, yeah. Lee Johnson's first steps. That could be the vlog. <laughs> Thumbnail. Oh, man. Yeah. Right, I'm going to try and get something to eat now, because I haven't eaten since 6 o'clock <coughs> yesterday evening. So I'm absolutely Hank Marvin. And, uh, yeah. Need to do an old BP as well. Enjoys your life. Catch you guys probably tomorrow.